Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Meeting here. Today we're going to do another solo mission. This is Estoc Saint again, and now we are in the Bloom area. Uh, this is the one where it's a, a two separate maps. We may actually split this into two videos because of the length of it. I could plow through them, but then you don't get my awesome commentary. Which I know you guys just strive for. I'm kidding, of course. But there is stuff to talk about in each area, so I will do so. Uh, we are going to... Uh, Estoc, uh, Womb of La Smash, uh, La Mash 2. I have beaten the area already, so you should know that. Uh, but this is a save point before beating the area. And what I do is I literally, uh, every time I come to a new area lately, I've been writing down in the save file, I can do a hard save just before entering the area. That way, in case it's a good fight, something that I'd like to demonstrate, uh, that I can just go back to it whenever I want and record a video of it, which is what you're seeing now. Uh, so this one has already been beaten by me. Let's just look at our character spells to make sure we have rested. Looks reasonably good. And let's enter. This area, um, I've played uh, with Bookworm, who is definitely higher level than I am now. Uh, I'm 16, Bookworm's 17, and Meaty 17 at that. She's doing level 9 spells and just blitz rate stuff. But this character still can hold her own, and it's because of her fighting prowess that she's capable of doing so. So let's buff up with the spells that we know we're going to use for long term. That's a shield, expeditious retreat, and reduced person. That's with my lesser extend metamagic rod, so it has double the duration. And then from there, I just want to get away from that. Uh, just from there, I always have a light spell on me, because why not? One thing that I will extend would be Cat's Grace, and yes, this is kind of a waste, as this Lesser Extend Meta Magic Rod could actually last, uh, or be used on level 4, 5, and 6 spells, but I don't have many of those that are duration buffs anyway, and I'd rather have the Cat's Grace on me for a long period of time. Um, so you see that I'm actually rocking a belt of Physical Perfection, which is a plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Now this is plus 4, because they don't stack the enhancement from Cat's Grace is what you're seeing. So that gave me another uh, an attack bonus because we're using a weapon finessable ability. Uh, gave me another uh, dodge point uh, in armor class, so that's nice. Uh, we're still rocking a pretty significant armor class, uh, fortunately, and it's only going to get better. Now we have some buffed up uh, stats, as you can see here, but we can even do better than that. Let's see. Uh, we will do mirror image. It will last a good long while, but we're not going to extend it. Because uh, 15 minutes would be more than enough probably to, to burn off the, the images that we have around us. We will save these last two charges for spells like Displacement and then Greater Invisibility. Because they give a really nice uh, dis uh, uh, sorry, not displacement, a Concealment buff, 50% Concealment. So a 50, uh, 50 chance that they'll, even if they should hit me, that they just straight up miss me. We're going to buff oops, our weapon and we're going to use Keen so that we crit more often. And we're going to use Bane because that way we do force damage. That's a really nice uh, ability, and that's going to come in super handy, as you'll see later. Not only is that a plus two to our weapon, so if we look at our weapon, you can actually see we're getting a th plus three enhancement right now. That's because we had the weapon as a plus one weapon. Then we added another two due to the temporary enhancement because of our leveling it up, uh, our uh, arcane weapon enhancement ability. Then we'll get another two, which you're not seeing, thanks to Bane. And the reason I can say that is because it will be a Bane weapon against any foe. So the plus two is guaranteed. So instead of being a plus three weapon, it's actually a plus five, which is really nice. Now the Keen, of course, for the threat range being doubled, which means we have more crits. And we'll do this extra 2d6 of force damage to any foe we swing at and hit. That's going to be instrumental here, as you'll see. Uh, I would like to use, and we'll do so, a Heroism Potion. And that will last me a good long while. It's like a 50 minute buff from a potion, no less. And that's a plus two again to our attack bonus. So you see there, morale plus two heroism. Uh, therefore, bless is not necessary. So that's fine. I will reactivate our arcane strike. I still don't think that's doing anything, but we'll have it on just because. Um, as far as buffs are concerned, the only other thing I could think of would be maybe some resist elements. Oh, poison. Sorry. Boom. Thank you. Much have that. Uh, from there, I do know that there is some acid issues in here. And this is a really nice 30 minute bump, so I don't mind slapping that one on me. So, alright, do a quick save. 
I don't have to redo this. Thing. And I am not going to use displacement and greater heroism until Let I really feel on. like the poop's hitting the fan. Alright, so first off, here's our first set of bad guys. There's actually a horde of goblins here. This is a very uh, sprawled out uh, underwork cave area uh, with a very odd set up for you transition from room to room which seems weird in a cave setting uh, but it's what they did uh, I have a fireball spell we don't ever really get the chance to use these to any real great effect so let's actually use one now we're out of range Stand with me. and that was a really nice hit Strike as one. <laughs> do not hold back <laughs> We shall so sneak. Attack. In range, guys. Ah! Oh, nice stab. You see, we do Strike nice damage even without the crits. And that's really because of that force damage that we're getting. Oh, okay, that's a little weird. It does that sometimes. Uh, you can look at the treasure that they have, but they don't really have anything else. Like mirrors. Now, oops, glad I got that one because uh, that was like a trap. Uh, not trap. Lockpick? No, it wasn't. Oh, good. I have missed oh. some on here. That's why I'm pointing it out to you guys. So I will save scum to make sure that we get all the treasure. Now, I may not be able to see everything I perception wise. My, my perception is one of the things that I always invest in on a main character. Without a doubt. It's something that really bugs me when I miss treasure. So, trickery is almost something that I guarantee to select points in, and then perception being the other thing. Since we are a high intelligence based God character speed. I have extra points to spare which is extremely helpful oh no, uh, so we have a fork in the road uh, this actually is the way you'll exit once you complete everything this will be where you hop down and then you'll leave um, but there's a path this way some stuff over here path this way there's no right or wrong way we're gonna clear everything so we might as well just take the south path for now and work our way north there are traps in various locations, so be careful. That is quite a discovery. Yeah. Right, for instance. We will prevail. Okay, let's actually round up everything in the area. I and I say that because these guys can be particularly gnarly. So if you have Do not hold back. A tough fight, you can scope them out in advance. Doom Spider might be an issue, but I really don't think so. I don't mind using one of these every now and again. It help finish stuff off a little sooner. And I don't know if these guys are really susceptible to these, but it never hurts to have it. That was a nice crew. Something that a lot of people I think make a mistake on here is you'll notice that when I cast this spell and then I attack with my stabby stick uh, I poke them faster than normal it's still the same number of attacks per round by the way um, so you can actually prove this to yourself so let's watch on this fight summon the spell and in the combat round do one two three four swings so I literally have the ability to swing four times uh, which actually doesn't seem right twelve Seven. Oh, maybe I do get an extra attack. Woot. Okay, I'll take four. Um, so, nice. Maybe I was mistaken. Um, but I know that it seems faster because, remember, you have to cast the spell and you still have to get all your attacks in that combat round. So they just speed up the amount of attacks. So the animations seem to go faster. But we'll actually test it without it being on just to prove to ourselves. The deed is done. Ooh. Nice. Let us press on. Oh, that's actually nice. Yeah, quick save again, because I don't want to miss a... Okay, that's, that's a javelin. Plus two javelin, this. no less. Quick save while I do this trap and talk. Uh, the javelin is a ranged weapon. 30 feet range. I have managed. So if you have point blank shot, then you're basically guaranteed to get a plus one to swing and a plus one to damage. God because they have to be within your point blank shot range. That's nice. It's also a strength based weapon, which means that if you have a high enough strength score, you're adding strength damage to the weapon's damage, which again is, is extremely nice. Discovery. Okay, uh, 
I am not gonna lob out a magic or a fireball. Out there. Defeat is not I do an option. Want to pull these guys away from that though. We shall overcome. Mm, it's like straight up spiders, no big deal. Uh, yeah. I should be able to just wail on. Huh? No. Again. Take that. Let's see if we can count this after it gets to zero. Ready? There's one. Two. Three. Oh, see, I was mistaken, so this actually is better. I should have shooted that earlier. But okay. The deed is as you see, we're getting considerable XP for disarming those traps. And I know a lot of people have difficulty with their character walking into the traps. Especially when you have a big team, so it's easier for me since it's one person I'm controlling. The hold button does work, but there is a trick to it as well, so let's see if I can show that to you. Uh, so here's this character, right? Let's say he's being a jerk, there's a trap right here, let's say that stone's a trap, and I don't want to trigger it, right? So I hit hold, and then I do something like, I don't know, attack him. Remember, I press the hold button so my character should be planted like glue, right? I can swing and all that's the fun stuff, and that's going to be a thing. It's fine. But... See? Anyway, I haven't done anything. I haven't told him to attack this guy. I press the hold button. He was held in place because these guys were around him. She'll still run up and attack. So just because I press hold doesn't mean that you won't move. Hold is hold right now. Do not move. Lock yourself in place. From there, once you start attacking again, it's uh, all bets are off and you start moving. So it's really kind of tricky. It's not a glitch. It's just there's no permanent do not move button. And I think that's what's missing. Without a doubt. So if a lot of people have that issue, you know why now. People splinter like that. But here is... This area here, we could have literally teleported up. Let Let's us see. press on. Okay, what we got? We got uh, another area over here. Oh, red caps. Attack. Those guys are mean. We will prevail. Oh, look at all the spiders that just showed up. Holy hell. Now. I could be a jerk and lob that in there and do some damage, but these are really fodder. I mean, as, as scary as they are, quick spider could be an issue. Uh, you see the little haze on them. These are concealed, partially concealed. And the downside of that for us is there's no spell that we have right now that allow us to get through that. Let's actually check our kit to make sure there's not something else we could do. Glitter dust I thought would work. Apparently that's mistaken. Uh, it literally just outlines invisible targets, not concealment issues. It just literally takes away the invisible or the stealth ability, if you will, of a target. Massive penalty to stealth, like a minus 40 or something like that. Uh, and that's always going to hit as long as they're in the area of effect. That includes you and your team, so be careful. But there is that, of course, blinding capability as well. It's just extremely helpful. The spell that we're looking for is probably one I do not have, and it is... I see invisibility won't do anything because these guys are not invisible. Same with the glitter dust. It's an invisible based version of the spell. We cannot dispel it because it's a natural effect, I believe, on them. And I'm not going to waste on that. But, a scroll of creep pit. We should actually try to use that just for funsies. Let's do it. Slap it here. Defeat is not an option. Strike as one. Oh, and I didn't use the scroll. Awesome. I love that Magus hand, man. That thing is. So, again, we're just going to crawl through these guys. And my ability to hit is pretty high. Remember, I am above any character reasonably should be at this area. You should have a team maybe in the tens, low tens. Um, so a maximum attack bonus, BAB of 10, uh, a, um, 
increase would be from things like dex or strength or wisdom in some cases. Um, but basically, you'd have a 10 if you were a fighter in this area, let's just say, and then another 4 to 6 for bonuses from strength that you had on your character swinging. Plus, of course, a magic weapon. Let's add another 2. So it literally should be a, an attack bonus of maybe an 18 in this area. I'm at 25. Yes, I have other things that I've buffed up with, but that's the whole point, right? So literally, I can just walk through a lot of this content. And even with me getting bit every other day, still okay because I'm protected from the poison. in here too that's particularly nice which is why I'm safe scumming so the deed is done Godspeed old person scrolls that is quite Yellow a discovery that. fix that would you I have managed nice the deed is stand the, with me decapitator it's a falcata a plus two enhancement, furious and keen. So notice the crit range is very large, which is nice. One-handed weapons. This is a really good one-handed weapon. It's already keen, so you don't get any better than what it's at. But still, it's a 20% chance to crit, which is nice. And then uh, the furious is if you're uh, on, under the effect of the rage spell or you're raging as a barbarian type, um, you get a plus two extra added to the enhancement. So instead of it being plus two, it's considered a plus four under those conditions, which again is pretty badass. Okay, so we got primal giant spiders. Do not hold back. We will prevail. Go get them. Good combat tactics for running so of course is having your back up against the wall or the ravine or something so you can't circle you and just inundate you with like swinging and attacks on the ground. Uh, keeping it to like three or four guys that can hit you in the semicircle is still pretty bad, but it's better than nothing. And we're plowing through the nation city pretty damn fast. Oh, shoot, where did these guys come from? See what I'm saying? Here they come. You sneak a little biter. Oh, big slug coming. that his range for my touch armor class is still pretty damn good at 39. He sucks. His dexterity is bad. His size is probably a minus two because I'm short and he's big. That's what I'm guessing what that means. But that's still pretty good for me. Nice. Now I am wounded. And I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to try to walk through this entire thing wounded like this. So we have potions for a reason. Get my health back up. And I still have scrolls. Just like that, we're back into full. I will because, us. Since I have the ability to use those scrolls, there's no reason for me to not use potions first. I don't get a benefit from either, really, well, you know, one versus the other, except for the fact that I can sometimes keep the scrolls around, which is why this is nice. So, uh, use the potions. Potions are heavier, for one, and by like 0.5 pounds versus a scroll, which is 0.2 pounds. So, a considerable amount heavier. So, you get the same amount of healing oh. otherwise. You might as well go with potions to make your, your load light. Yeah, shock rates. I was kind of hoping that was going to be an S-Doc. This is definitely worth it because these are two spells that you want. Acid Fog and Disintegrate. Now, just to show them to you. Can't use them yet. We won't be able to use them until we get to level 17. But Disintegrate alone is an amazeball spell. 
if you are a ray caster, especially if you do sneak attack damage and you're a level 20 caster, this spell will do 40 D6 damage, not counting your sneak attack damage. 40. Now, yes, they can make a save, and yes, they, they take a pathetic amount of damage if they make the save, but when they don't, and if you've maximized it, oh baby, 240 points of single target damage at a decent range, yes please, I will totally take that spell. And with the new additions to Magus, with the ability to instantly turn any of their spells into either maximize if I take the feed, or empower if I take the feed, and you get the idea, I could do that three times a day where I do disintegrate, disintegrate, disintegrate at maximum level, so they still have a pretty good That's shot, and if they feel that, that they're just gonna have to straight up die. That's kind of a sweet, sweet spell. Just backpedaling here at this point. Uh, so it looks like this is the way. How are we doing on our buffs? Still plenty of time there, still plenty there. Uh, you'll notice, uh, we're 20 minutes. We're getting, is there another one that's not? Oh, our, um, mirror image is already off. We must have to use them all anyway. That's fine. Um, but remember, the mirror image lasts almost as long as your arcane weapon enhancement. In fact, I think it does last as long as your arcane weapon enhancement. One minute per caster level. So, when that wears off effectively from time, then it's time to reapply your weapon. We're not quite there yet. I want to say we got about three to five minutes of good weapon time. Alright, so it's giant spiders in this area. And again, I don't want to waste a fireball spell on these goofuses. However, I can... I can use that. What do I have? Lots of scrolls, though, that I could do some damage with. Molten orb? Mm, maybe. What a nice range one, though. What do you got? Hell, I got a fireball spell right there. There we go. I'm okay using a scroll for that. Now, since they're out of range, we should be able to cast it without them moving. That don't mean I know where the other ones are. Defeat is not an option. Yeah, minor damage. That's okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to equip? Not really. Control fireball, no. I want to make sure that I've hot or hockey that I've learned that spell. Vampiric touch. I suppose I could cast that right now. I need a little extra bonus health for my efforts. What the hell? That's what it's there for, right? Uh, you just wait your turn, sir. Five? Really? Oh, right. Their caster level sucks. Well. Wow, five. That was a bad roll for two casters. Well, it's only a 2d6, but still. That's a pretty bad roll. But I guess I'll take five hit points if I'm not having five hit points. That was better. I'll take 18. I had it on autopilot. I didn't use the scroll the first time. You got this. Take that. Really? Wow. That's a lot of misses in a row. Let's take a look at that, see what was going on there. It's, it's a 20%. I was just bad rolls on my part. Okay. Working on the trap. The deed is done. Nice XP. Quick save. I have managed. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing that. Scan with me. Whoa. Hey there. What's up, peeps? Quick Spider, Red Cat, Primal Giant, couple of Red Cat, oh Red Cat Trickster, he sounds Strike like a trick. As one. Do not hold back. Trickster needs a bag. He's 
taking it on the chin. There you go. We shall overcome. For some reason, I'm scared, more scared of the red caps than I am in the next one. I think they crit them down the size of times three. And about the only real mm, chance for those guys to hit me is probably a crit. So that means I'm doing, I'm taking triple damage from them. That's so cool. Not bad though. Took a little damage again. Oh, sorry, treasure. Take the money at least. Without a doubt. All right, now we get into the weirdness of this area. It's a part of the weirdness. So this is the thing that I don't like about this map. Um, there's going to be a, a, a room. We'll teleport to another cave room, which will have multiple passages. One that'll lead back to here. One that'll lead like down. One that'll lead to the right, for instance, or up. And you can literally follow them. So it's not confusing in any way, which I think is actually a mistake. I'd rather it be like this one teleports you to over here. Another one would teleport you to the one up here. So you have to know a pattern. To me, that would make it more interesting. Maybe that'd be more annoying for other people, I guess. But it doesn't seem to be a whole lot of reason to have rooms. Except for the fact that there's them contained fights in the room sometimes. So if you wander around them, you may actually see spiders or whatever coming to get you. Oh, nice. Where's that other one? I know there's another one. Yeah. Oh. Cross composite longbow. And again, another problem that we're having is um, we're out leveling the gear quite quickly. Right, I see spider for sure. So on stuff like this again, get them together. If you consider this a tough fight, and you see that we got spider swarm, so it kind of is, this is the time that you're going to use your displacement and the extend med magic rod. First, want to shut that off so I don't do anything dumb like uh, extend touch yeah. fatigue. Very silly. Attack. So now this would be a concern for most characters, the swarm, especially running solo, because if you don't have enough fireball spells or instant hit auto spells like that, then you really can't damage these guys. But the beautiful thing about this is, while I still have my bane on, I can do force Take damage that. to them. So. You see how I did 10 of force? The 19 piercing that they're completely immune to. It's the 10 of force that did damage to these goobers. So that's the reason that this is actually interesting. Because if I hit them, and I'm lucky enough to hit them multiple times, I can like wipe these little goobers out real quick. Do not hold back. See? I just like that. I've taken care of the real problem. I've got that these guys are pushovers. I have a prim primal spider matriarch here. It's going to be a big B. But, uh... We shall overcome. Definitely want to take her out. I don't know. Oops. I'll shut off my toggle as it hits me. Multiple attacks in a row like that, you just love seeing this character. So she's just doing 20, 30, 30, 40 points of damage every swing, man. And while I'm sure there's builds out there that are much better for damage output per round, she has all kinds of tricks up her sleeve that they don't. So I'm really impressed with that stock scene. I just really wish now I hadn't gone S stock, though. That's just a, a big glaring faux pas on my part. Rooms. Taking it. Horse rooms. Taking it. Shrooms over here. Taking them. Let us press on. Oh, I thought there was a path back there. Alright, quick save. So I can pick this here lock. Oh, healing potion. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably. Why not? Like I said, lighten the load, so to speak. So that's nice. Oh, I shouldn't have that on, by the way. I should have had my reflex or my resistance cloak on. Whoops, the doodles. Well, that's because I was resting outside. 
Uh, and you'll notice I am using the Iron Man of Natural Armor plus five. So my armor is amaze balls for that reason. Uh, I could use any number of tricks, but part of this mission is going to be not using the Heart of Ira on this character. We'll teleport a character in. He is Tristian, and he sucks. So we'll give him the Heart of Ira, a couple of invisibility potions, which he'll have access to as long as everything's in this kitty. He'll put this on, he'll chuck a potion of invisibility, he'll activate this and stand next to the main baddie that he has to kill and just watch the bad guy die without Trish and having to do a damn thing. So, well, I'm gonna go up here. I think we've been to this one already. Yes. Just wanna make sure. Like I said, it shouldn't be too terribly confusing. So this should teleport us to a room over here. I was successful in my search. And I got the impression that this is a nasty fight area. Forwards. Defeat is not an option. Yeah, here that it is. is quite a discovery. So we sit here by the edge so they can't surround us. <laughs> it doesn't look like we got problems and there's a doom spire and a couple of regulars. <laughs> Kill the more start showing up. Alright, so you see him now we're doing damage, but it's only piercing. So we have lost our buff. So again, keen, bane, green blade, reactivate it. Give some time too. Take that. Uh. And we're probably running out our displacement. Yeah, we already have. So now we do the last one, which is greater invisibility and extended as well. Nah. And that's it. And then we just go to town of these jerks. The great thing about greater invisibility is you still stay invisible. So they have difficulties hitting you if they don't have like the blind sight on some kind of enhanced spell or senses. And it still gives you the 50% um, concealment, just like displacement does. So it's a souped up version of displacement. Oh, look, we got another primal spider matriarch. Two of them. Oh, hell. Okay. Limit the access to me. This would be a time where I would not object. Just didn't want to walk into the explosion. Oh, nice crit. These ones are tough enough. But again, I don't mind using our own badass spells. Come on, critter. Mm, I'll take 23 hit points here, why not? Not bad. We good, you know, we took some damage. We're not immortal. So I don't think this build's gonna be the end all be all of existence. Eh, probably use one more. I was gonna use a scroll, but that's okay. Quick save. Ooh, yeah, I need that ring. Belt. The deed is done. All kinds of cool shies up in this area. Alright, we missing okay. Potentially, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, map. Looks like this passage would come down here or here, so it's possible we're going to the same area. Let's take a look. Yeah, because this I bet it goes up to here. Yep. Okay. Just making sure we haven't anything silly because here's the end of this technical map. Let's actually save. Pick up our loot. This is one of those that I just sometimes I don't understand the developers. A masterwork S stock at this level you didn't drop a an S stock plus one or an S stock plus two. It doesn't have to be anything fancier than that man but just something. S stock really got screwed in this game. First time the saves come. Boop, boop. But this one I like um, simply because this character can really 
put a whooping on just about anything at this point. In combat, no less. Very nice. And this will be the next area which we'll do in the next video. Just to point out that I've picked up some pretty decent gear along the way here. One of the bigger ones is this little doodad here, the Peridot Wyvern. Allows you once per day, and I think that literally is a 24 hour cycle, for 10 minutes you can summon a Wyvern to help you fight. And that's pretty tough and meaty. You can buff it and everything else. Summon it, put it in front of your characters as if you're like a, a squishy type, and heal it and, and blast from behind it. But I can fight side by side with it toe to toe and just have all kinds of fun, just beating the crap out of stuff. So if it dies, it doesn't matter because in 24 hours I can resummon it again. So it's like your uh, animal companions at that point. Doesn't last very long, but for 10 minutes, it's still pretty good to last. Uh, we got some decent spells, we got some decent uh, wands, like a lightning bolt wand, even out of all that. So we did pretty good for ourselves. Again, you saw I did take damage. I'm not immune or mortal. Uh, we are going to take a knee here before too long, so I'm not particularly worried about using up these leftover spells that I have. And I still have really decent, like I could have used that cone of cold for up there, so have like a fireball spell, because it's easier to plant the fireball. Fire snake, acidic spray, and a cloud kill even for that matter. So we have excessive spells that we just haven't been using. But with that, my name is Brother Mean. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.